Question two: What's the difference between add request mapping and add get mapping annotations? Add request mapping can be applied to class level or method level, while add get mapping can only be applied to method level. Add request mapping can map get, post, put, and delete. Get mapping can only map to get method, and the request mapping the default is get. We really need to see the few lines of code below to fully understand it. And yes, at the same time, we learn Spring Boot essentials. As shown in the demo project created previously in question one, we can replace the annotation request mapping with get mapping. Okay. And uh, import okay and uh, then we can run to see if it's the same okay it's running so we minimize this go to a browser at local host column 80 slash hello we get the same result to see how add request mapping is applied to class level, we can apply add request mapping here. Add request mapping before the class hello, and we can add a mapping path as a demo. Let's say, for example, slash demo. Okay. Then we leave add get mapping still uh, apply to the method level. Now let's run it and see if we can get the same result. All right, now it's running. So we minimize. Uh, we go back to this. We hit enter and it's note we only have a hello here. Okay. Now it's not working. Why? Because at the class level, we added the path demo. So we do this. Now, now it's working. By the way, you may have noticed we used code sense in IntelliJ like this. If we remove this line and uh, also remove this if we do it again add get see the get mapping automatically shown and suggested so we select get mapping please note if we hit enter the get mapping will be automatically imported here, right here see it's already imported how can we achieve this we achieve this by Select File Settings and uh, Editor General Code Completion, and then we need to check Basic Completion and the and the Type Matching Completion and uh, Show Suggestions as your type. 